Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request for Donald, who wanted a Gym 3 in the colors of the Gym White Dingo. And that is what we've got. I uh, did flatten the colors a little bit as I tend to do, but, uh, or, or did I this time? I may not have, but, yeah, these colors are taken off of the Gym White Dingo, and, let's see, I can't believe I got the missiles to work at that short a range. Did some fair damage to that Galbaldi. This is a 500 point room. I am in my level 2 uh, gym uh, 3, which is 450. And I do okay. And let's see, that is a Gelgud Marine Commander type, which is actually pretty uh, pretty strong and going to be a tough fight, I think, from time to time. I recall having trouble with it. I actually hit it with those missiles, but it had invulnerability from its dodge roll, so I got hit with Bird Lime at some point because I had a speed drop for a moment. Shoulder missiles out trying to get as much damage as I can. I think there's a couple of Rick DS's on the enemy team, and again, they are very strong as well. There's somebody trying to get me. Fired my missiles, realized there was somebody to my right, and got out of their way. It is the Marine Commander again. Fired the big missiles, missed, lost my shield, which ups my speed, and I realized what the kind of trouble I was in, and tried to get away, but there are three of them on me, and I don't know if that's going to work. No, it's not. I'm about to die. Yep. So, I'm not the first one out, but this is a rough start, as you can see. 2,700 to uh, nothing, and uh, it's a fairly substantial lead in a 450 room, though, as always, not not enough to throw in the towel. Um, there are leads where there, I think it's, uh, you know, enough to realize, okay, we're not going to win, but no, this isn't one of them, especially since we just got a kill back. A couple from the from the look of the score. So yeah, it's no, it's it only it's one and a, at least one and a couple of assist uh, scores I think because yeah, two would be a straight 900. So there we go. That's a little better. Just throwing damage out from a distance because I kind of don't want to wade into the middle of that, especially since I, as far as I can tell, all my allies are fairly far away as well. Going to try and get to a clear spot to uh, launch the big missiles. Not sure if I'll land them, but. I landed them, yes. Actually, yeah, I remember now, after having seen that, yeah, I remember being very excited that I actually landed that, so. Very nice. And no, you're not going wherever you thought you were going. And I am going to claim that, well, no, I'm, I was going to try and claim that one by, uh, you know, right of having taken down the pilot, but somebody else got it, and that's fine. It got got, and we now have a lead. We've, t we've caught back up, and we've got five minutes left. Now. What we uh, what we have to do is just kind of hold it together, and was trying to follow that pilot and keep them from getting to our base. I am going to fail in this endeavor because pilot can go right into the uh, scaffolding here where I can't really reach. Came to follow them and see if I could see where they came out, and actually, yeah, I did get this one. Maybe it was the next round where a pilot does find uh, that I didn't record where the next where a pilot finally gets past me and I do not manage to uh, stop them from bombing the base, and maybe it's later in this one. I'm not sure which, but there, there's, there was a, uh, a pilot very intent on bombing the base that got through and uh, almost managed to get it done. Might be this round? Might, might not be. Can't remember. Mind like a steel sieve, and as always, I'm recording at 1.30 in the morning, and it's been a long day, so. See, we have got... There's that Gelgug again. I'm gonna pull back a little bit, because don't need to be taking any shots from that. I feel like the Gem 3 is a little bit fragile, but I don't think it actually is. I think it's more that I just end up using the thing in 500 rooms, because finding 450 Qs is not as common as 500 Qs. So, it's just one of those things. If you run it 50 points down, you can do well, but it's going to be more of a challenge. And this is kind of a challenge. The Mark II is especially giving me a run for the, uh, my money, which, appropriate. See, something hit me from behind. I am going to go back here and try and fight that Rick DS. That's not going to work out, incidentally. Yeah, I have no health. I'm going to fire missiles because it's all I've got left, but yeah. I think I overheated my beam gun. Either that or I just didn't think of it. I should have uh, thought of that and tried to move in, but yeah, Rick DS got me. Not a big deal. We are still doing okay, I believe. Um, down a little bit for what? 1,700 points? Yeah, 1,700 points. So, not terrible. Just waiting for the spawn back in, which is significantly shorter when you're not in a 650 machine. Okay, so. We've got, um, we're back. That Rick DS is right there. 
I'm just going to throw some missiles out, which it will probably dodge. Yep. At least I hit the rocket. I hit something. I, I do like blowing up the, the shuttle uh, when I can. When I get into those AB rooms, people do just to uh, get their dailies done with and, and you know, grind for crates. I When I'm on the losing team, I always like to sit, sit and blow up the rocket. Somebody over there with very low health that I would really like to have a chance to kill if I can. Threw the big missiles, hit the bridge, no good. Hit them with something else, though, and, try and, and got the kill around the corner. Yep, the missiles are not bad. And it's got a bunch of them. That is a Hyzak Custom. That's not a great thing for our team. We'd love to get a bead on it and kill it, but we'll see what we can do. Right now, there's this Mark II, which I managed to blunder directly into its downswing, so no good there. But the Hyzak has come over to a better place to reach it, so missiles out. It's gonna, it's gonna move, yeah, because it got stunned and it probably saw me. Not a good place to be. But there's that, there's those, and it went down the ledge, but I can still throw a couple more dozen missiles. I had to overheat my uh, gun for it, and I did it anyway. I saw somebody about to bomb, and I decided to go in to support them, and it turned out to be well worth it. I'm trying to get up on this ledge. I have. And yeah, I'm just going to stand guard, because frequently, if only one person is dealing with the base bombing, it will not succeed. So we will d uh, dedicate two people to it. I do not recommend this. There's only two of us left alive, and that's actually the ideal time to be doing something like this, because if nobody else is alive, that means you're not really get letting your team get focused while you're guarding this bomb. Because this bomb can just barely put us in the lead. That's my first kill. Because nobody ever looks in this corner. Now that I say that, and of course I've said it before, but I haven't done it lately, but yeah. This corner near the diffuse, nobody ever really looks to their right before they start diffusing, and... That is to their detriment. Of course, they probably saw the other pilot get killed and did not expect there to be two. But always two there are, or at least in this round there were. So, ten seconds remain, so I uh, there it is not possible to defuse at this point. So, I can get out of here, and hey, free Rick DS. I was amazed I actually had time to do this. And if I had not timed that perfectly, if I'd gone a second longer, oh, and there's the pilot I didn't realize uh, when I did this last, uh, when I actually did this. But if I had done that a second, even a second uh, later, the, b uh, the base would have gone off and knocked me to the ground and the override would not have worked and that pilot would have gotten the Rick Diaz back. So good timing and not quite the right timing there, but I can, I can fight that Mark II uh, pretty well. There was a bomb at our base which has been defused and now I can come support uh, folks and this is an ideal place to be at the end of the round. We, we are down a person, or they are down a person, because I've got one of their mobile suits. And we just have to hold, and we held. So, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good round. I don't think I got any high marks, but I did fairly well, and that b base bombing action at the end I thought was pretty great. So I hope you enjoyed it, Donald. And, yeah, not no again, no actual ranks. Three kills, three deaths, 50,000 damage. But, yeah, stole a mobile suit and uh, protected a base bomb, so pretty solid, I'd say. Fun, at least. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! You can actually do more than fine uh, 50 points down in a lot of different queues. Um, I have a round where I did really, really well in a Gundam Alex, but it was... Uh, which at 450 in a 500 room but to be honest it was so one-sided I'm probably going to try and uh, record something else for that particular request rather than run that one round I'm kind of holding it in reserve though just in case I don't get anything better because like I said I did really well it's just the the enemy team was not having a good day of it so we'll see what happens with that